What is up guys, Ken Ross here, coming at you with how to make a montage episode 38. This is a tutorial that I haven't really seen it much on. Um, it's kind of different, I guess. So, I think I want to do something I haven't seen before. So yeah, let's get into it. Uh, it's ending a quad feed the right way, in my opinion. People like Agony do this. Um, it's kind of unique, yet, yet used at the same time, but it just it makes it look so good. So, pretty much what we're going to do is we have our clip here. Um, it's just a quad feed that I got. I'm going to lower this down so it's easier to scroll through. Just two kills with a Colette, single, and then we have our last kill for the quad feed. So Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to right click on the layer, go to time, and enable time remapping. I'm going to right click and go to effect, revision plugins, Twixter Pro. We're just going to change the frame rate to 59.94, and that's all we're going to do. If you want to go check out my Twixer settings video, you're more than welcome. It's in my How to Make a Montage playlist. Um, so now that we have that, we just want to hit E for effects. Go down to Twixter Pro, go down to output control, hit speed. Click U on our keyboard so that we can get just our keyframes. Go forward one frame. Um, go to Actually, untick the speed here. Go to the spot where you get the quad feed. So we're scrolling here, we're scrolling. He shoots right about here and go to the spot where the numbers are at their max. So you can see the frame here, that's where the numbers are at their max. Hit the speed, uh, go forward one frame, change the speed down to, um, I'd say anywhere between one and three, so I'm just going to go two. You can see here, it slows down and you can see the feed coming up there, it looks really nice. Now you want to go forward about, we'll say, two seconds, so I'm just going to change this to eight. Um, hit your keyframe. Go back, change this to 100. So now you just have this part, Twixter, here. And it looks really nice. Okay, so now for the next part, we can just, I'm going to disable the audio on this. Um, we can just uh, go to Layer, New, Null Object. And this is also going to teach you how to keyframe uh, wiggle, like that wiggle like expression that I showed you guys how to use. On the Null Object, hit P for Position. And then holding the Alt or Option key if you're on a Mac, but Alt for your Windows users, click the position and type in Wiggle. Um, and then go, hang on one second. Um, actually, no, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Unclick, unclick that Alt so you, um, you don't have your position here. So you just have your null object. Now on your clip, go key for or P for position, Alt click on that. And then type in wiggle, and then three comma, and leave it there. You can unclick. It'll give you an error message. That's fine. We're just gonna leave that. Now, on your null object, we're just gonna type in effects and presets, and go to slider control, and add that to our null object. So now we have this. Just close out of this. Now, once here, click E for effects, and make sure you had the slider control showing. We're, now we're gonna click back on our wiggle expression here, and after the comma, we're gonna take this. Uh, Pickle whip and pickle whip it to the slider control. Then we're gonna end or end parenthesis. Make sure you do that, otherwise it'll give you an error again. And so now we have the ability to keyframe our uh, wiggle. So now we're just gonna hit use. So we can see our twixter. And here we're gonna add our wiggle. But first, before we do our wiggle, we're gonna add our scale. So I'm gonna hit Shift S so we can see the scale. I'm going to take the scale, go forward five keyframes. Change the scale to about 110. And then go forward uh, about 3 seconds. And then change the scale back down to 101 so we can get rid of those black edges. But yeah. Um, now what we want to do is we want to highlight those scale keyframes and hit F9. Or if you don't have F9 on your keyboard for some reason, you can right click. Go to Keyframe Assistant and click Easy Ease. So now it just makes it kind of a smoother thing and, and it's not just so linear. So now, for our wiggle, we go back to the first Twixter keyframe, or the first scale keyframe, we can zoom in if we want. Um, for our wiggle, we uh, we already have that position, so on the slider control, we're just going to hit the stopwatch, go forward a frame, and change this to, actually we'll go forward to where our scale ends. So go forward to where your scale ends, change this to around 6. If you were doing the wiggle, this would be your second number in the wiggle expression, so it would be like 3, 6. We're going to make it 6. Now go forward to where your Twixter ends, keyframe it, go forward one frame, and change it to 0. So now it's just like the wiggle's back at 0. 
So you can see it kind of just like wiggles back there and it looks really nice, I think. So now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to add a blur here. So we're just going to go to layer, new, um, adjustment layer. And then we're going to search for lens blur. You can use faster Gaussian blur, but I think this looks the best. Um, we'll just rename this layer to blur. And on here, we're going to take the iris um, radius down to zero. On our first Twixter keyframe, where, where the Twixter is about to start, we're just going to hit um, the iris radius and then hit U so we can just see those keyframes. Go forward one, two, three, four, five frames to the end of our scale. Change this to like, I think it was 10 looks good ish. Um, we'll put this on full so we can see it better. I actually will up that to like 20. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, 20 looks good. Okay, so you can do anywhere, do anywhere with less like 15 to 20. But um, now that we have that, we're going to go forward about 10 or about 30 keyframes. So hold control, shift, and right arrow three times and change this back down to zero. So it'll go like this. It'll scale up, it'll blur, and then it'll unblur, and then it'll wiggle down. And that, my friends, is how you finish a quad feed. Um, it's it's a lot it's a long process, but it really does look nice. I've been doing this recently in my edits. I don't know if you guys have seen it. If you guys watch my edits, but you can also make these keyframes easy ease by hitting F9 if you want. But if you guys do this, and now for the um for the rest of them, now you already have the slider control, so you can just pickle whip the um positions and stuff to the slider control again. It just makes it really easy, and you can just for the blur, you can just literally control C. And then say where our next quad feeds here, you can just control V to copy and paste. So it's really it's really easy from now on and um it makes a really good effect. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, it's unique, I haven't really seen it before, but um something I really want to show you guys because it's it like I said, it makes it your edits look that much better. But um that's all for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and I'll check you all later. I'm out. Peace. Okay.